everybody and welcome back to another LEGO review. Today we are reviewing this awesome duel on Mustafar's set. Awesome may be a bit of a strong word, but it is pretty cool nonetheless. All right, so let's get into it. Today we're gonna talk about how fun this thing was to build, the overall build quality, and the value. This set comes in at a whopping 1999 MSRP. That is outrageous. For that price, it, it's all right. Um, all right, so let's talk about, so minifigs, right? You get two and you get this little scene. The playability maybe makes the value worth it a little bit more, but besides that, I'd like to see an extra minifig or a little bit more detail or a little bit more scale for that price. So for the value, I'd give it like an eight out of 10 for the value. The overall build quality is pretty good. During our actual crash test time of reviewing it, some pieces fell off. There's a couple connections that are all right. But you can also spin that build quality in its favor and do like uh, some battle robots. Kara oh, and I were yeah. doing that earlier. So we'd take them, put them together, and we just, whatever. Anakin won. That was felt wrong. He's but, got the high ground. So you get this. Oh, <laughs> Obi Wan lost again. Anakin, Anakin is undefeated on it's Mustafar. It's the high ground, I'm telling you. So <laughs> it, it, it is have it does have some cool features that make the playability actually quite fun. Uh, we never. It was your suggestion to do the battle bots, Chris. That's yeah. what it looks like it's for. Yeah, because he slide back and forth, and yeah, so you can grab your little character and slide it back and forth, oh. and then control the, the twisting and whatever. I just realized that Kenobi's got a bunch of little wounds all over his body. Well, he's tired of after the fight. See how the little, like, oh, yeah. slash marks, his little blood's coming out of it. That's a pretty aggressive uh, minifig uh, depiction. Um, yeah. and so as far as fun factor goes, it is, building it was all right. I'd give it like a six out of 10 for building. I've had more fun building environments before. The set's just a little bit small, but yeah. they pulled by my heartstrings with those orange clear pieces. The you lava know you and like Lego, this piece. The lava in Lego is really fun. It does create some action too that it like spurts out <laughs> bursts lava. of lava uh, out of the environment as well. There's uh, some pretty interesting dynamic pieces for a set that small. They did pull it off. They packed a big punch into a little package. So uh, right. over, I would have liked to have seen just a little bit bigger, but uh, the fun factor is there. There is definitely, like Kara's got plenty to keep her occupied there. Apparently this little thing is just <laughs> too cool for school. Uh, uh, this set came out around May 4th of 2020. It's a pretty... Um, Was it this year? Yep, May 4th of 2020. No. Oh. Yep. It was uh, one of the May 4th ones, like, hey, we're hitting up all these old Clone War movies. Clone Wars seems to be the big thing with the release of Season 7. But yeah. Fair um, enough. I would say for 20 bucks, get a different Lego set, but unless you really like Anakin and... And Rock and Sock and Robots. And Rock and Sock and Robots. They missed the mark on a, doing a dual build here. I feel like with the set coming in two pieces, they could have easily split where one person can do a bag and do a left side, and the other person can do the right side. I agree. When realistically, Kara built the set and I built all the moving pieces. So that was a little bit weird. You really couldn't do a dual build. Yeah, like I could have built this. Right, and I could have built, built that. that. And then yeah. you could just And I would have been together. done first still. <laughs> <laughs> so. All right, so overall build quality score. Overall build quality, nine. All it's right. there, yeah. All right, and then playability score? 10, yeah, playability is definitely it's a fun. 10. All right, and value score? A seven. Yeah, more minifigs are a little bit bigger. One more minifig would have just put You got the little there. robot, what more do you want? Well, you have to pop them off there. All right, so. True. All right, so then the final verdict you said, just avoid unless it's something that uh, completes your collection and really calls out to you. Yeah, I feel this would look much better in a grander set. Actually, maybe in front of, like, if you pulled those two off, you could maybe do something with it in front of Vader's castle, like, as an accessory or something to a different set. It's just too small to be a good display piece on its own, and it would just be for, like, playing, like, the battle robot aspect to it. It's not necessarily a good two-person mm -hmm. build, so... With all that taken into consideration, really, it's just gotta be a part of something bigger or something else. So I would pass on it, put your money into something else. Um, otherwise, if this set is iconic to you in this scene and you don't have it, it's 20 bucks. You can yeah, go no right judgment there, there yeah. but yeah. if you're just looking straight dollars and cents value, take it and go ahead and leave it. Yeah, I would pass on this set. All right, well, if you made it to this part of the video, you've made it to the end of the video. Go ahead and like this video if you want to see us do more LEGO reviews. Comment down below with what you want to see us do a review of next. Subscribe if you're not already. Ring the notification bell so you're notified every time we upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and of course... I have the high ground. <laughs>